Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add fractions with common denominators. And at the top of your screen in blue, we have the steps we're going to take in order to do this. We're going to check our denominators, and I'll tell you why here in a second. We're going to add our numerators, keep our denominator the same, and then simplify if needed. And we're going to go through three examples in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here. And we have rectangles filled with rectangles above our problem of 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. So that picture there, that's going to help us model and visualize what's happening in this problem. So the first thing we need to do is check our denominators. And we have a 4 here and a 4. We need to check denominators because that's a good habit to get into when it comes to fraction problems. Because if you don't have common denominators in adding or subtracting fractions problems, it takes an extra step or two. So in this case, we do have a common denominator. So now we add our numerators. Our numerators are our top numbers. So 2 plus 1 gives us 3. We always keep our denominator the same. So 4, 4, and in our answer, our denominator is going to be 4. And we simplify if needed. In this case, 3 fourths is already simplified. The only common factor between 3 and 4 is 1, so we're in simplest form. Our answer is 3 fourths. So let's do this with our model here. So our first rectangle here is cut into one, two, three, it's cut into fourths. So we need to fill in two fourths to represent that two fourths in our addition problem. One fourth, two fourths. And in our second rec rectangle, we need to fill in one fourth to represent that one fourth in our problem. So now, how many total fourths are filled in? Well, we have one fourth, two fourths, plus the one fourth gives us a total of three fourths. So our model matches our answer. So let's go to number two. So again, we always check our denominators and they are uh, common denominators there or like denominators. If you hear common or like denominators, they mean the same thing. So we have a 7 for both of our fractions. That means we can add our numerators now. 4 plus 2 is 6. Keep our denominator of 7 the same. And then simplify if needed. Now 6 sevenths is in simplest form. The only common factor between 6 and 7 is 1. So this is our final answer. If you ever need help with simplifying fractions, I do have another video that breaks that process down. I'll drop that link down in the description. Now for number three, let's check, check our denominators. They are common. We have a common denominator of nine. So now we can add our numerators. One plus five is six. Keep our denominator of nine the same, and then simplify if needed. Now six and nine have a common factor of three, so we can divide both our numerator and denominator by three to break this fraction down into its simplest form. So divide by three, divide by 3, and we get 2 thirds. Now when you simplify, it's still an equivalent fraction because we did the same thing to the numerator and denominator. We just broke it down to its simplest terms. And again, if you need help with that, I drop that video link down in the description. So there you have it. There's how you add fractions with common denominators. Check your denominators first. Always do that. It's a good habit. If you have a common denominator, you can add your numerators, keep your denominator the same, and then simplify if needed. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.